What's up, me bags? It's the Alpha Imitated, never duplicated Tony TGD, and this is the first in what is going to be many videos in the Sturgis Challenge. That's right, the Sturgis Challenge, where we take videos that Sturgis makes that are non Aaron July related, and we make our own versions of those to prove that we can make better content than he can, doing the exact same thing that he's doing. That's right. Uh, we're gonna beat Sturgis at his own game, just because I like messing with him, and because hey, I need something to talk about. Now, the first half of this video, if you read the title, it's about fucking eight. Uh, the director shuts down racism accusation. That's right. Some racist on Twitter was accusing Tekken 8 of being racist. Wow. Uh, what a Uno Reverso card we got going on here. This is Tekken 8 director shuts down racism accusation for not revealing Black Fighter. Uh, so let's scroll on down. This is from uh, Dex Taro. As you can see, unapolo unapologetically black on Twitter, he says, the only reason why Eddie Gordo hasn't been revealed yet is because the creators of Tekken are racist and don't care about black characters or dark-skinned people. So it's going to be a while until the real fighters come out instead of these whites, Latins, and Asians at Harada Tekken. Well, there's a couple problems with this. Uh, first off, two black characters have already been revealed for Tekken 8. Uh, that's right. Both Raven and Leroy uh, have announcement trailers for Tekken 8. Uh, so already wrong there. The second thing that we got to note is that Eddie Gordo isn't even black. Uh, Eddie Gordo is Brazilian, uh, which we know would be Latin America. He is a Latino, uh, much like myself. So this idea that uh, Eddie Gordo hasn't been revealed because they hate black people is uh, retarded. Because, like I said, Eddie Gordo, a Latino, not a black man. A Brazilian from Brazil doing capoeira. Uh, so we scroll down. Let's see what Harada had to say. It says, uh, if you think you can just claim anything that way and it will pass, you are mistaken. Leroy and Raven will kick your ass. Come to think of it, there are no Japanese characters in the American dramas and movies that I love. But I've never felt discriminated against because of it. Oh, man. Harada just slapping unapologetically black around. Uh, for his stupidity. But he got what he wanted, right? All he wanted was a reaction. All he wanted was for somebody to notice him on Twitter, to get a little bit of that Twitter clout. And uh, Harada gave it to him, unfortunately. So yeah, so there you go. Uh, Tekken 8, black characters already being included. Black characters already in there. Uh, Eddie Gordo, not black. Uh, Harada, not playing and not dealing with your bullshit. Uh, I'm very, very excited for Tekken 8. Tekken has always been my game. I've always been a huge Tekken nerd, Tekken fan, Tekken tag tournament. That was my jam back in college. I used to dominate the arcade machines uh, back in the day. And so I'm looking forward to Tekken 8. Uh, we're... All right, moving on to the next half of the video. That's right, we're going to be talking about Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Uh, we're going to get a new patch for the Saturn version. That's right. If you have the Saturn version, you can download yourself this helpful little patch. And this comes from Sega Saturn Shiro. It says, um, new Castlevania patch adds English text speech. Uh, so let's scroll on down. Let's see what's going on here. It says, uh, many of the standout features of the Medusa team's patch originated with the extended version from 2021 have carried over to the ultimate version, namely Access to the global map by pressing up and start at the same time. A hard mode accessible from the main title screen. Richter's alternate costume is seen by default, although his classic outfit can be accessed by holding up and selecting a character at the beginning of the game. Uh, if you have the 4 megabyte expanded RAM cartridge, the game will load assets when it first boots up to improve load times throughout the game. It says the start menu appears faster than in the original game and returns to the gameplay much faster as well. Uh, many... Mesh transparencies from the original game have been converted into true transparencies. Uh, some graphics have been corrected to not appear stretched like they do in the original game, such as explosions and smoke, pickup icons, character portraits during dialogue, allo cards on screen, user interface, some background trees and bushes. And it says press start to skip cutscenes, videos, and dialogue sequences. Uh, but that's not all. Uh, because we got some other additions uh, that you didn't get here. It says... Uh, the standard version also features quite a few bonuses that are not present in any version of Symphony of the Night, even in modern ports of the PSP in 2007 and cell phones in 2020. Uh, those include Maria, a new playable character, the ability to play as from the beginning as Richter, who was unlockable in the PlayStation original, a third hand for equipping items to Alucard, three hands. Alucard's got an extra arm somewhere. 
He's equipping things to his dick. Uh, two exclusive areas, Cursed Prison and Underground Garden. 18 new enemy types. That's right, 18 new enemies. And bosses like Ifrit and Maria herself. Uh, 11 new weapons and items like Godspeed Boots. Uh, new music, Maria's voice actress. Emphatically announcing the time by using the Saturn's internal clock that the player idles on the title screen for several minutes. Uh, so you're getting all that goodness. You're getting the... Uh, definitive version, I guess, of Symphony of the Night. Uh, you're getting what should have been uh, ported over uh, to the U.S., but never was. And now you're getting these English translation. And like I said, uh, to apply the patch uh, specified by the README that comes with the download, users should put a copy of the original Japanese game in the form of bins and cube files into the same folder as the unzipped patch files and run the start.bat file there. Uh, so there you go. You're going to be able to patch your game. Uh, obviously, we do not support emulation here at the Geek Getaway. Uh, but we do support patching games you already own. We support uh, being able to translate games that you own and that you want to play in English. Uh, we support that 100%. Uh, I was a big fan of Sympathy of the Night. I had it. I beat it. I loved it. Uh, all these new features sound fantastic. If I had a Sega Saturn... I would jump all over this bad boy. Obviously, I don't, unfortunately. So I'm not going to be able to enjoy this. But hopefully you guys can. Uh, I'll put a link to this article. So that way, if you uh, need to download the patch, you'll be able to. It's linked in the article. And I'll also put a uh, link to the Dextero article about Tekken. That way, if you guys want to read that for yourself, uh, you can. Uh, so hopefully you enjoyed this. Hopefully you guys share this. And the Sturgis Challenge will continue. It will go on uh, until I feel that we've made our point and you made Sturgis cry just enough. Uh, but until next time, love, peace, and booty grease. Uh, we out this bitch.